Hi, my name is uh, Vishal. In this video, uh, I'll show you the uh, SkyDome light inside the Arnold software. So we have this SkyDome light here. So I'm just creating SkyDome light is a light which uh, illuminates the scene from all directions to the center. So uh, a sphere is a shape from which the light, you know, goes into the center. So here, uh, defaultly, I've got a white color for the light. So when you do this, you may get a, a effect uh, which is more or less like an ambient occlusion render. Let's have a, a render. But before going into that, I'll just go to the settings preferences, color management, and then uh, browse the Osho um, color space. Uh, Osho color management setting. Okay, so so that I've got the ACES uh, color management setup here. Uh, I will render the scene, and uh, you got this. So you should see that uh, the light is coming from all directions on this particular, uh, you know, uh, scene. So if I just get into the attributes here, uh, we have the color. We can change the color of. Uh, Uh, the ambience and uh, you should see you're getting that light color light uh, the, the blue color coming from all directions and uh, we have the intensity which uh, brightens up the overall illumination it's a multiplier basically and you have the resolution uh, it counts for the image what we take how much uh, resolution has been taken the higher resolution gives better uh, illumination but at the same time it costs the render all render time you have the color management there where you can enable the not color management sorry use the color temperature there and you have the temperature value of 6500 i can go for 1000 to get the red light or 10000 for the blue light and uh, 6500 for the white light so <coughs> generally we don't uh, take pure white uh, in any of our scenes if you are lighting anything so very similarly 6500 kelvins will also give some half white uh, color so you can use that if you want uh, apart from that we have uh, uh, the, in the color uh, we can pick a, a texture so i'll just browse uh, a file here you can uh, pick any existing textures there i'll take checker and uh, you should get the checker pattern there so I'll just uh, I'll show you the scene there, just to understand. Now, if you see uh, this uh, sphere has got the checker projection, and you got the pole on the top, and pole on the bottom. Okay. Uh, I just select the light and just show you this thing called format, lat long or latitude longitude. So the texture will be projected on a sphere, precisely like a default sphere UVs. And we have mirrored ball, which is a completely different, uh, you know, projection of the texture on the model. And we have the angular, which is slightly different than the uh, mirrored ball. So when we pick a HDR image, okay. So I'll just browse a HDR image. Okay, and you should see the HDR image is uh, not placed correctly. It it has got a pinch, and then on the other side, uh, it has got the image. And this doesn't work for the right placement. So I just change that format to latitude and longitude. It gives me the perfect environment. So if I am inside the sphere, and I should able to see the. So this is sort of blurred uh, HDR image. So I was talking about the resolution, uh, the, uh, the amount of resolution for the HDR image can be controlled here. Let's just go to the perspective and then uh, render. Now if I just uh, see the HDR. Uh, 
okay if you see here uh, color space is ace is uh, ace2065 but you can always go for um, Uh, utility raw okay so uh, why did i take utility raw is uh, this uh, particular uh, hdr image is a 32 bit image and uh, i prefer to uh, go with that value uh, with that color space setting uh, if you see uh, the default one uh, has got uh, nice saturations as well you can pick that uh, too yeah saturations are more in uh, this particular setting I increase the metalness and reduce the roughness here to get that uh, chrome like finishing there nothing much uh, changes uh, with um, this color space utility raw okay so pick that and then you get that nice uh, reflections of the uh, hdr image and lighting from the hdr image so i reduce the metalness and then increase the default uh, point eight should be a, a good value for the Uh, I just select the uh, HDR light or the sky dome light and increase the exposure to make the illumination slightly brighter than what it was. Okay, this is uh, uh, some sort of IBL or image based lighting using HDR uh, from other softwares. Uh, so we take a sky dome light put it uh, put a hdr image in the color attribute and uh, put the format to lat long and there we go you get the panoramic lighting there or hdr lighting uh, apart from that we can also take a different uh, uh, texture in the color uh, for that i just go to the um, arnold texture and we have this ai physical sky and then we can uh, get the uh, daylight with this options and if you see there are a few options i'll be discussing about that in the um, physical skylight uh, what i have created now is a physical skylight actually in the sky dome when we create a sky a physical skylight it creates a sky dome and then plugs this physical sky texture into uh, the attribute so there's no difference whether i do that way or uh, this way but if you see in this uh, the environment is not created let me see if the environment is created yeah it's there uh, but you can uh, always avoid by selecting the light here uh, in the camera we can just say that uh, i don't want uh, the lights contribution in the background so I just make the camera value to zero and you don't see that camera background there so it is same as physical skylight okay so uh, a single color can be used uh, for the environment or you can use a HDR image or you can use a physical sky texture in this and then uh, you get the result there Okay.
So let us uh, create the physical skylight here. So physical skylight is a sky dome light whose color is connected with the physical sky texture. So there, it is like a preset I can say for the sky dome light. So we will try to understand the uh, options here. So let me render it. So we have uh, got this result. So I'll just uh, go to the uh, exposure and put a value of one. Okay. Now, if you see, uh, we have few options here. Uh, turbidity, which is uh, uh, the density of the atmosphere. In the atmosphere, if there is a lot of dust, uh, then generally the sky looks more denser. So when we increase the turbidity, the sky changes here as if uh, the atmosphere is filled with a lot of dust and pollution. Okay, So that is turbidity. Uh, we have the ground albedo which is the color of the ground and its role in the sky. So I just uh, pick a very different color. First I will just store that and take a green color and then you should see the skies, uh, the ground's color, its influence on the sky as well as the overall result here. Uh, we have the elevation, um, it is the s height at which the s uh, sun is there. Uh, so 5 degrees is almost evening. If I put 90 degrees, it is uh, clear afternoon. Okay. And 180 degrees is again sunset. So I just put a value of 5 as elevation. And azimuth is uh, where you want the sky to be. So changing the direction of the east-west um, of the light. So if I keep exploring, uh, so the the sun rise is on the uh, camera side. So I'll put a value of 180. It will be on the opposite side there. I should see the sun there. Now I, I just keep the value of 1 here for the elevation. The sun is dipping. If I put a value of 2, rises okay and azimuth if i put a value of 160 170 you see the sky the sun keeps moving 180 190 200 you see that it's keep moving there and intensity is the amount of light uh, this uh, sky light uh, you know throws uh, we have the sky tint uh, it is the multiplier I can say white gives me the sky black gives me no sky there it's only the sun and there is no sky there what if, if I give a color existing uh, sky gets multiplied with the tint what you are picking there I see that. And we have the sun tint which is again the color of the sun and if I reduce that value you don't see the uh, sun at all. Okay, there is no sun there. And we have the size of the sun. We can make the sun size bigger. And we can reduce the tint of the sun and make this uh, look more dramatic sky. If you want to enable or disable the sun, you have an option there. Okay, without sun, it looks like a um, a cloudy sky. 
overcast sky you can say so without that you don't get that hard lighting so let me put a elevation of 90 then you get that overcast sky there okay if not you get the sunlight and its shadows